Uh, uh, there are types that are made in low fire and low fire clays are great for colors and details and decoration but they are not super good uh, in water so if you do go uh, for a low fire clay you'll just end up with the glazed pottery something that is for show something that is for picture but when it is placed in water it cannot withstand anything but the clay that is in under high heat it, it doesn't look good they aren't great with bright colors and they but they're sturdy they're waterproof and they're textured easily what are you saying but uh, if you're under low heat that is if you're under low fire in your life you ain't going through nothing that's probably because you can't withstand anything that's probably because you're not waterproof let alone fireproof that means God can only turn up the fire in your life but so much because if he turns it up all the way you'll walk away from God and never turn around and you'll always be playing the part of the modern you wonder why the people in the church that are always victimized always somebody else's fault for why you in trouble always somebody else did something God sent me to tell you that you're a ceramic piece that is under a low fire can't nobody really trust you with nothing because you aren't waterproof you're not fireproof you haven't been tried or tested clap those hands and give God a prayer you have not been tried you haven't been tried you have not been tested you have not been proven to withstand the test of time and what exactly do you mean by the test of time a preacher people can only trust you as far as they can take you a pastor can only trust you on a six month basis because after that we don't know what's going to happen with you you won't fire for God one day and then the next you're not on fire for God no more. Man. One day you're down with Jesus. Yeah. The other day you up in the club shaking the fool, posting pictures up on the internet, and the saints are sending you texts asking you questions like, "What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound?" Touch your neighbor and say, "Neighbor, God forbid." We've got to stop being in the same forever. But then there's also those that are under high fire. And the ones that are under high fire, they don't look good. They don't look fancy. They don't know how to tie the tie straight. They don't have a three-piece suit on. They haven't learned how to put on a hat yet. They have not learned how to dance yet. When they speak in tongues, they don't know how to control it. So they can't yeah. When they come into the house of the Lord, yeah. why are you texting? Uh, they're sitting next to you, praising God, uh, uh, giving Him glory and learning. Yeah. Uh, why some of us are sitting under low fire? Yeah. Uh, God told me to tell you uh, yeah. that I'm getting ready to take the people uh, yeah. that don't look good, yeah. that don't look fancy, yeah. and they're going to be the ones yeah. that's going to be able to withstand yeah. the test of. Yeah, like those hands. Yeah.